In front of me is the Yamaha P125, which I bought three years ago. Since then, many new digital pianos have been released by competing brands with more features, functions, and often with a lower price tag. How is my ownership experience with the Yamaha P125? Is it still worth buying today? And should you get one or are there better options out there? You can find links to everything I talk about in this video, as well as my list of recommended digital pianos, keyboards, and music learning apps in the description. In my opinion, this digital piano truly shines best when used with Yamaha's very capable Smart Pianist mobile app. Unfortunately, most owners I know do not bother to download the app and connect their iPad or smartphone to the RP125, which is really a shame. Earlier versions of the app gave users a bad experience, it was buggy, had connection issues, and didn't offer many additional functionalities. Yamaha has been constantly updating the app after listening to users' feedback. The Smart Pianist app is now the best in the market. In fact, there are many features not physically available on the P125, and these features can only be unlocked using the app. Without the Smart Pianist app, the P125 is average at best. When used with the app, the P125 becomes a supercharged powerhouse. The P125 uses the GHS key action, which isn't the newest and shiniest action from Yamaha. However, it has been time-tested and is reliable. My family has been practicing on this digital piano almost every day for the past three years, and the action still feels as good and as quiet as the first day we got it. While there are four levels of touch settings with the app, you can visually configure your own unique velocity curve, a feature I haven't seen in many other keyboards in this price range. For the extremely demanding pianists, you can even be your own piano technician and configure via the app the tuning and volume of each and every single key on the piano. While the action on the Yamaha P125 is good, there is a digital piano with a better key action. You'll find a link to it in the description. With 24 sounds, the number of voices in the Yamaha P125 may pale in comparison with the hundreds of voices found in other digital pianos. However, the voices that matter, which are the default concert grand piano, the electric piano, and organ voices are above average. While I do wish we get 256 notes of polyphony on this piano, I have yet to hear note drop-offs in the music I play. Each and every one of the 24 voices on the P125 is very usable. Unlike some other brands where the piano voice is good, but the remaining voices sound like they are from a 1980s keyboard.
Selecting the voices from the panel is easy, but there is no indication what exact voice I am selecting without referring to the owner's manual. Selecting and layering voices from the app is way easier and I highly recommend it. You can see the name of the voice you are selecting. You can easily layer and split the voices across the keyboard and adjusting the volume mix of all the instrument parts is extremely easy with the intuitive and visual volume mixer. Applying reverb effects via the app is also highly visual and intuitive and if you prefer a comparable digital piano with a huge color LCD screen for selecting voices and using the features, check out the link in my description. Practicing with a metronome is important to objectively play better. While you can set the metronome on the panel, I prefer using the app. With the app, I get a visual indication of the tempo, time signature and volume of the metronome. But practicing with a metronome is boring. Thankfully, Yamaha included 20 rhythms encompassing popular genres for you to practice along with. Unlike the cheesy 1980s rhythm box drum beats found on competing keyboards, those on DP125 sound better. Once more, selecting the rhythm, setting the tempo and the volume as well as starting and stopping the rhythm is way easier with the app than on the panel of the instrument itself. While 20 rhythms are nice, if you enjoy playing along with rhythms, you can find another digital piano with almost 300 rhythm accompaniments in the description below. While the P125 has a pair of 7 watts amplifiers driving 4 speakers, there will be times when I need to attach a pair of more powerful speakers to it. I love the stereo quarter inch outputs for connecting to my powerful monitor speakers and for connecting to the stage amplifiers in my church. The built-in audio interface on the P125 is also extremely convenient for me to get digital audio direct to my computer for multi-track music production without the need to buy an additional external audio interface. The USB MIDI port is also useful for those who want to use this piano with music learning apps. You can find the powerful monitor speakers I use and my recommended music learning apps in the description below. P125 comes with a very basic single song MIDI recorder. Thankfully, the Smart Pianist app allows me to record an unlimited number of songs, not just as MIDI files, but also as an audio file that I can quickly share on social media or on instant messaging. The piano itself does not support the playback of audio backing tracks stored on a flash drive that pianos from other competing brands support. Yet again, the Smart Pianist app saves the day. You can play back any audio tracks on your smartphone and it will be played through the P125's built-in speakers.
digital piano that has the ability to layer and split multiple sounds, apply various effects and play along with rhythms, you would think that there would be more user registration memory slots on this keyboard. Unfortunately, there is no way you can save multiple sound setups on the piano itself. Once more, the Smart Pianist app extends the functionality of the P125 by allowing me to save an unlimited number of sound registration setups on my smartphone. One advantage of saving these registrations on my smartphone is I can easily load my favorite settings onto the P125 that my church has. Without the highly capable and beautifully designed Smart Pianist app, the Yamaha P125 is really just another boxy and ordinary looking digital piano. I wish there was an LCD screen on the piano to achieve all the things the app can do without me being tethered to a smartphone. For a similar digital piano with a large full color LCD screen, check out the description. The lack of wireless connectivity such as Bluetooth audio and wireless MIDI also shows the Yamaha P125's age. And for a portable keyboard, having the option of battery operation either via AA batteries or a power bank would be nice. While the P125 comes with two headphone jacks, they are both of the same size. If Yamaha can make one jack, 3.5mm and the other quarter inch, we would have no trouble using whichever headphones we have without needing an adapter. Don't forget to check out my recommended digital pianos, keyboards and music learning apps in the description. Smash that like button if you found my video useful. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you in my next video.